Hello guys, welcome to my first section. My name is Dr. Ashfaq Khan and this section is all about basic anatomy. And primarily I am going to focus on a difference anatomical physician. First I would like to define you what is basic anatomy. Basic anatomy is the study of the structure of the body. Often you may be more interested in function of the body. Functions include digestion, respiration, circulation and reproduction. Anatomy. Anatomy is the branch of biology concerned with the study of structure and function of the body. We call it anatomy. Clinical anatomy is the study of macroscopic structure. It is the study of macroscopic structure and function of the body. It is also related to the practice of medicine and other health and sciences. Basic anatomy is the study of it is the study of minimal amount of anatomy consistence with the understanding of the overall structure of the body. These are the anatomy definition. Anatomical position. What is anatomical position? Anatomical look at this man. It is a standing position, the head facing forward, the arm to the side, the palm facing as forward, the fingers extended, the thumb is away from the body. Look at his feet. The feet are space separated and the toes point forward. These are the anatomical position. Medial sagittal plane. Look at this man and look at this line. Focus on this line. This is a medial sagittal plane. Medial sagittal plane is used to describe sagittal plane as it bisect the body vertically through vert, vertically through the midline marked by the navel dividing the body exactly the left side and the right side the right side and the left side this the sagittal plane dividing it into equal the right side and the left side we call it medial sagittal plane what is pyramidian plane pyramidian plane is a vertical plane parallel and its close proximity to the median plane it is term pyramidian plane medial medial border this is the medial border and this one is the lateral border medial border is situated near to the median plane of the body then another is said to be medial to the other and this one is a lateral border a lateral border structure that lies further away from the median it's further away from the medial plane then another is said to be lateral to the other coronal plane look at this line this one this one line show us is coronal plane coronal plane we call it frontal plane as an anatomical term describing an imaginary division between an organism dorsal and ventral hollows. Dorsal indicate an area toward the back of spine. Dorsal indicate the words towards the back of spine, while ventricle indicate the direction away from spine, typically toward the ground. This vertical plane or right angle to the median plane. We call it coronal plane. Look at this plane, horizontal or vertical plane. Horizontal or vertical plane. These are a transaxial plane as imaginary plane that divide in the body into superior divide the body into superior and inferior part. It is perpendicular to the coronal plane and sagittal plane. Horizontal or transfer plane is perpendicular to the coronal plane and sagittal plane. These planes are a right angle to both the median and coronal plane. We call it horizontal or transfer plane. Interior and posterior. Interior indicate the front of the body and posterior indicate the back of the body. And describing the hand, look at the hand. The palmar side surface of the hand and the dorsal surface of the hand. The interior side of the hand, we call it palmar surface of the hand and the posterior side of the hand, we call it dorsal surface of the hand. Look at this foot. This is the upper surface of the foot, we call it dorsal surface and this is the uh, lower surface of the foot. We call it plantar surface. Plantar and dorsal surface are used to instead lower and upper surface. This is the upper surface and this is the lower surface. We call it plantar and dorsal. Proximal and distal. The blue arrow shows us the proximal and the red arrow shows us the distal. Proximal toward or nearest the trunk of the point of origin of part and the distal away from or forest from the trunk of the point or origin of a far. For example, we have a good example there. 
the RM is proximal to the 4RM. Look at this blue arrow. The RM is proximal to the 4RM. And look at this hand. The hand is distal to the 4RM. We call it proximal and distal. Superficial and deep. What is deep? Deep refers to a structure closer to the interior center of the body. And superficial is used to describe structures that are closer to exterior surface of the body. For example, we have a good example. The skin is superficial to all or at the body surface. The skin is superficial to the skeleton and away from the body surface, more internal. It's deep and more internal side. The lungs are deep to the rib cage. We call it superficial and deep. Superior and inferior. Superior superior or cranial inferior and the lower side superior toward the head in of the body is toward the head the head the end of the body and the the food the food is part of inferior extremity extremity we have here denote the level rel relatively high or low with reference of the upper and lower this is the upper the upper side of the body we call it superior and the lower side of the body we call it inferior internal and external we all know that uh, you in usually life we use this term internal and external are used to describe relatively distance to the structure from the center of organ of the cutty for example we have a good example the internal carotid artery is found inside the cranial cutty and the external carotid artery is found outside the cranial cutty this is internal and external. Now look at there, epicellateral. Epicellateral on the same, we, epicellateral is a term we do, we use it on the same side of the body. For example, the right arm, look at this man. This is the right arm and this is the right leg. leg. We call it epicellateral and contralateral on the opposite side of the body. For example, the right arm and left the right arm and left uh, legs, we call it contralateral. We have another good example like the left hand and the left, the left hand and the left hand are epicellateral and the left bicep brachii muscle and the right rectus femoris muscle are contralateral. Look at this picture. This is supine and prone. Supine position of the body is lying on the back. We call it supine and prone position is lying face downward. We call it prone. This is supine and Bone position. That's all for today. Uh, in the next lecture, I will teach you the term related to the moments. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.